Alrighty guys, welcome to um, page five. You'll say page four at the bottom of your page, but it's page five of your test because we're in the unit circle. This video will cover number 27 to 30. One is graphing and the other is going to be um, the characteristics of the trig functions. Okay? Alrighty, so now let's take a look. Your D is a negative two, so that means your midline is at negative two, and your uh, A, your amplitude is one half. So I'm going to go up a half, and I'm going to go down a half, just like that. Okay? All right, let's take a look at your period. How do you find the period? Now, notice the period is in pi, so I'm going to use 2 pi over 4, which is the same thing as pi over 2. So there's your period. I have a cosine, so it's going to look like this. Positive starts up here, and at pi over 2, ends. Halfway between the two, it comes down. So there you have your graph. Plus, half a pi plus half a pi is a pi. You just repeat that pattern. Half a pi plus half a pi is three halves. Plus half a pi is two. And there you have your graph. Okay. Number 28. Your midline's at two. There's a one here. And your amplitude is at one. things that you always do first. Your period is in pi, so I'm going to take 2 pi over 1 half, which is the same thing as 2 pi times 2 over 1, which is 4 pi. There you go. So there's your period. Okay. You have a sine graph. Starts in the middle, goes up, comes down, hitting the midline at three places. Because it's a positive. If it had been a negative, you would have gone down. Okay? Alrighty. So, starting in the middle, ends at 4 pi. Halfway between 0 and 4 pi is 2 pi. Halfway between 0 and 2 pi, you're going to go up. At 3 pi, you're going to go down. So you kind of get the gist of the shape. So every 2, up, middle, down. And if I can just continue the process. And there you have your graph for theta over 2, or 1 half. Okay? All right, 29. On 29, you are going to graph this function, and then we're going to determine the characteristics. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you can kind of see the graph as well as the, um, the characteristics that we're going to go over. Okay? Here we go. Do the graph first. Notice there's not a vertical shift, so it's right here at 0, okay, at x-axis. Your a is a negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and write negative 2 here. Okay. Your period, now, I don't have it as a 2 pi and I don't have it as 360. You use whichever makes the most sense to you. Okay. Since this is an x value, it's a 3. I'm going to use the degree. So 360 divided by 3 gives you 120 degrees. I'm going to use degrees on this one because this one doesn't have a pi. All right. So, but before I do that, hang on just a moment. Your amplitude is a negative 2, so I'm going to go up to 1, 2. Please label. And then this one here is down 2. Okay? And I'm going to start off at 0 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is 120 degrees. Going this way, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is negative 120 degrees. And halfway between 60, negative 60. So here we go. I'm graphing a sign. A sign looks like this. But because it is a negative, it's going to flip over like this. Okay? You guys see that flip? All right, here we go. Starts in the middle, halfway's in the middle, ends at 120 in the middle. But instead of going up between 0 and 60, at 30 it's going to come down, and at 90 it's going to go up. So there you have your, oh, it goes all the way up here. Okay. Let me mark this off. All right, 
fit. Okay? Same thing. Repeat a pattern. Goes up, comes to the middle, goes down, goes back to 120. And the process can just repeat itself. And there you have your graph. All right, here we go. Domain, far left to far right, all real numbers. Your range, from negative 2 to positive 2. X-intercept, starting at 0 degrees, but you notice how it's hitting it every 60, plus 60 degrees in, okay? In means it's going to hit it every single time. 60, the next one will be 120, the next one will be 180, the next one will be, and so forth. So if n is 1, it will be 0 plus 60, which is 60. If n is 2, 0 plus 60 times 2, which is 120. You guys see that? And it goes both ways. It can be a negative also, all right? Your y-intercept, it's crossing the y-axis at 0, 0. One of your relative maximum. Now let's take a look at your maximum. Here's a maximum and here's a maximum. The distance between negative 30 and 90 is 60 degrees. Do you guys see that right there? Okay. So my relative maximum starting at negative 30 degrees and I'm increasing it by 60 degrees every single time. Okay. This is 90. 90 plus 30. I'm so sorry. Okay. So this is negative. This is 90. From 0 is 90. 90 plus 30. This is 120. My apologies. That's 120 degrees. Okay? Because it's a sign. Your relative minimum, so it goes from here to right here. So this is from 30 to 150. So starting at 30 degrees, okay, plus or minus a change every 120 degrees, just like that. Amplitude is negative 2, period is 120. So I kind of want you guys to kind of see what relationship you kind of notice as well. All right. Number 30. Here we go. This time we have a pi, so we might want a pi in our solution here. Okay? So, here we go. No change. Amplitude to 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, negative 3. Draw your dashes to separate your boundaries. Maximum and minimum. So, amplitude is a 3. Okay? And your period is 2 pi over b, and what is b? 3 pi. There we go. So this is the same thing as 2 thirds. All right, because the pi cancels out. So here you have 0, 1 third, there we go, 1, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 thirds. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2 thirds. I try to use my five points. That's just me. This is a cosine, and cosine looks like this. But since it's a negative, it's going to go in the other direction. Okay? Here we go. All right. Starting, instead of up here, it's a negative. So I'm going to start down here. And at 2 thirds, it's going to end here. Halfway between the two, this right here is 1 third. So here I have my graph. I'm going to use the graph to help me. All right. Go the other way as well. This is negative one third. Now I've got that shape. All right. And there you have your cosine graph. And it actually keeps going up. Because it doesn't really stop. All right, so there's my graph. Okay, let's answer a question. Domain, all real numbers, my range. 
low to high. X-intercept. I'm crossing right here, halfway between zero and a third, and, half, and then it's like every other third. Okay? So if you don't know, this is what you can do. Take uh, 1 divided by 3. What is half of that? It is 1 6. Very good. 1 6. And I'm changing it. Okay. Just think about this. What is that number? Well, I don't know. So how about 2 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 6, in case you didn't know. Okay. Divided by 2. So this right here is 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, which is 1 half. All right, so it is at 1 half. So I'm going to take 1 half minus 1, 6, and that gives me a third. By the way, it's always half of that one. Just got to let you know. Okay, so 1 third in. So there I have my function. Your y-intercept is at 0, negative 3. Your relative maximum, take a look at this period. You see how it's going from here to here? What is the distance between here and here? It's two-thirds. So I'm going to start off at one-third plus two-third in, or you can list them out. And then your minimum right here starting at zero plus two-third in. And there you have it. Okay, I would rather write this unless you want to list them all. You can also list them. If you list this one, it will look like this. Let me see, your maximum is at one third, dot, 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 okay? And then your next maximum will be over here, plus two third. Let's see, anyway. One third plus two thirds, that's three. So that would be one plus two thirds would be five over three, dot, dot, dot. You can write it like that if you want. I would rather just write it like this, but you can list them. Your choice, okay? This one, you could have started off dot, 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 zero, two-third, two-third plus two-third is four-thirds, six-thirds, which is one-half, dot, 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 six-thirds. Oh, that's two. My apologies. That's two, dot, 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 okay? There you go. Good luck on your tests.